Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be showcasing a unit that I feel like has been receiving a very unfair amount of hate, a very unreasonable level of criticism. And that unit of course is the brand new Fizz Angel Golden Frieza in Android 17 you see on the screen right now. And you know, over the past couple of days I've had a chance to actually use them on a couple teams, run them through a couple of events, and I think they're actually a really, really solid unit. And while I'm not trying to convince people that they're like super broken or even a top 10 LR, they are much better, I feel like, than the average person gives them credit for. So with all that said, let's uh, jump right in here. We're running them on a reps of Universe 7 team. And on this first rotation, they're linked up with the two UI Gokus, starting with uh, 89,943 defense. By the way, uh, my Frieza and 17 are at 79%. Okay, so there you go. And about 90,000 defense is not awesome, but of course they do build their attack and defense over the course of the event, so they should become much tankier uh, later on. So here we go. Let's give a few orbs to these guys. I just give one orb to the Goku. That gives us... Uh, ooh, okay, so we got an 18 key for the Frieza and 17, and I'll give these to the STR UI. So for the most part, we'll probably keep the AGL UI and the Frieza and 17 together. Uh, I believe they share four links, which is not too bad. Okay, uh, so we're starting, okay, with 2.29 mil attack, which of course is not super impressive. And I understand if people just see these numbers right off the bat, they're like, okay, this unit is garbage. How is a new LR putting up numbers like this? And I get it. I get it. People expect a lot from new units, especially new LRs, especially anniversary LRs. On turn one, you know, everybody wants to see like five, six, seven million attack on the first turn. So I understand where the criticism comes from. But you gotta realize that this is a unit that was meant for longer events. You know, it's a unit that's meant to be built up over the course of a couple of appearances. And maybe you think that if a unit is designed that way, then they're bad. Which I guess I kind of get, but in my, you know, from my perspective, like, there are different kinds of units for different kinds of events. And this is a unit that is really good in longer events, like the Legendary Goku event like Infinite Dragon Ball History, and I'm sure in the future we'll be getting a lot more events like that too. For example, we got the Legendary Vegeta event coming soon on JP, right? So that's also going to be another event that this unit is really good on. Alright, so on turn two, now we do get I think a few more links. Yes, we do actually from the uh, Piccolo and Gohan, so uh, we're looking at 144,000 defense now, which is really, really good. And... Hmm... Here's the issue. I don't necessarily want to put the 17 and Frieza in front of attacks right now, just because they still could build up a little bit, a little bit more. But uh, they got four attacks off on the first turn, which means that they're almost halfway built up, right? Because they max out, I believe, at 10 attacks. Let me just quickly check, actually, uh, to confirm. So, yeah, 7% attack defense up to 70%, and also keep plus one up to seven with each attack performed. All right, so I'm gonna leave everyone where they are for now. Let's just give one orb to Goku. Let's give a bunch to uh, Frieza 17. And here we go. Let's see what kind of difference having the extra support as well as the extra links make this turn. With UI Goku, I'm always concerned that like, he just goes off for three supers and kills the enemy before we have a chance. Oh, we're good, we're good, okay, perfect. So now, look at that. Yo, huge, huge difference, guys. Turn one, only about 2.2 mil, right? Turn two, 4 million. Here are the additional attacks, too. Hopefully, you get a couple more. That's one additional super for 3 million. Not too shabby, guys. Yo, first turn, it was only 2.2 mil. And we got a couple additionals, which did a little bit more damage. But overall, not that good. And then second appearance, we got the 18k super for about 
uh, 4 mil, and then we got the additional normal, and then we got the additional super for 3 million. So that's like probably almost 8 million attack that turn right there. And they also get some additional damage reduction. They also get some additional crit chance with each attack for that turn. So they would have been pretty tanky that turn as well. So uh, yeah, looking much better now. Looking much better now. And as I said, man, in the beginning of this video, like I'm not trying to convince anybody that like they're the best unit in the game because they're far from it. <laughs> they're really, um, I still feel like a little bit, a little bit underpowered for a new unit at this point in the game. Okay, a new LR that is. I feel like they could have been much better. I do think they could have been more powerful. And I think that they, you know, could have taken less work to build up, you know? But the point still stands that this unit is not trash. It's not a garbage unit. And I just see so many people, like, on the day when I was doing my stream for, for my summons, right? Uh, when the banner first dropped and I pulled Frieza, like, second multi, and people were like, Yo, that's an L, man. Yo, that's a trash unit. Like, you should be sad about that. I'm like, bro, I'm really not. I'm actually, like, really, really stoked for this pull. So, that's just me, man. Uh, 134,000 defense now without the support. So, you know, a bit of a drop off, but nothing too terrible. And, uh, you know what? I'm gonna let them attack first. I'm a little bit concerned, honestly, for the, uh, for, for the potential super here. Oh, we're fine. Okay, yeah, there, there you go. 35 damage and about 3.4 mil for the super attack. Now, I don't think we're, we're going to get any supers off or any additionals off, rather. Just because uh, Goku's dead, so there you go. Uh, yeah, man, I mean, they're looking pretty good at this point. They're, they're looking pretty good at this point, in my opinion, of course. That's just my opinion. Of course, I want to, I want to hear your opinions as well in the comments. If you guys had a certain mindset coming in like you thought they were a bad unit let me know if this video convinced you otherwise or are you still you know in the same same uh what's the word i don't really know but if you still feel the same way that's fine too i'm not gonna try to convince everybody but i just think that they need a little bit more love that they've been getting because they've been getting a lot of hate man like i've been seeing it everywhere and i just think it's crazy like i know some people in the community have been uh, you know making making it very obvious what their opinions are and that's cool too man like I respect everybody's opinion but like I just don't think they're that bad <laughs> they're not bad enough or like they just get so much hate you know okay so now we can actually pop the active skill which I think I must save for one of the later phases um, but it's good to have for now for sure and let me see why don't we hmm they don't get the damage reduction until the attack which is a bit of a problem that puts them kind of in like that second like the slot two or slot three unit right like they're not great in the first slot even though 140,000 defense is not terrible it could be much better so I think what I'm gonna do is still go like this let's give these to ui goku we'll give these to frieza 17 and we actually want to get some more dodges with the str ui i've been neglecting him a little bit for sure um but he hasn't built up much so i'm a little bit concerned for like later on in the event wow <laughs> what do i say man what do i say agl ui loves those supers he loves taking supers. He'll he'll dodge all the normal attacks and then just eat all the super attacks. They're like, yo, I love I love getting supered, man. That's that's just this thing. Anyways, not a big deal. Didn't take much damage, so I'm not really concerned. Um, 3.9 mil there. A couple more additionals. We should be fully built up now, actually. Uh, by now they should have their full passive. There's an additional super, 2.7 mil. And I did go with additional in their hidden potential just because they do get more crit chance with each attack. So if you, you know, get three attacks, that's going to be 21% crit chance. With the fourth attack, with the additional, that's going to be an additional 28% crit chance, right? And then, of course, they also have some crit in their hidden potential. So overall, they should have close to like 40%. Actually, no, with the skill orbs I gave them, they should be close to 50%. 
when their passive's fully built up. So, um, yeah, I felt like additional just made more sense, right? Now my math could be a little bit off, so feel free to call me out on that. <laughs> but uh, the point is, they have enough crit chance where I feel like additionals do make more sense for them. But I can also see the argument for, for crits as well, if you want to just increase your chances of critting. But at the same time, if you give them more additional, they also will build up their passive quicker. So for all those reasons, I just feel like additionals are the better choice for this unit. So if you guys happen to pull dupes, then uh, I would personally recommend additionals, but that's just me. That's just me. Okay, so this is interesting. This is interesting. Now normally, if you have a Fizz unit on this phase, right, you would definitely want to pop an item, but I'm not going to. I'm going to just pop their active skill so we can get the additional defense and the additional key. And also guaranteed crits, actually. That's going to be nice. So guaranteed crits, uh, more defense. We should be around like 200 and... I'm not sure, actually. Something something pretty high. Something pretty high. We'll see. So yeah, that's the active skill. And that will give us... Let's see... 339,000 defense. 339,000 defense. I'm still going to leave UI Goku where he is. We're going to let him attack first. And then we're going to get that nice 24 key super with the Frieza and uh, 17. And I'm going to give these tech orbs to Piccolo and uh, Gohan. Of course, the super there. Of course, he eats it. 56k, not a big deal. What did I say, man? He just loves taking supers. Just loves it. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Miss one, my bad. I don't know how, it just happens sometimes. Um, should be a good amount of damage, but definitely won't kill UI. It's actually been a while since I've run the regular uh, Legendary Goku events, so I don't remember exactly how much HP these guys have. But I do remember they were pretty tanky. There we go, a couple dodges, nice. And Frieza and 17 go up to 5.7 million. Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Okay. And it should be a guaranteed crit here. There we go. A couple of additionals. Are we going to kill him? We might kill him with the additional super. If we get one. Oh, oh, nope. Close. Close. How much should we take for damage? Yeah, there we go, man. No items. No items. Taking double, triple digits. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> I, I gotta say, it's, it's pretty sweet. Like, I feel safe enough to, you know, if I pop the active skill, I feel safe enough to take even a super attack from the uh, STR UI Goku, just because that's how tanky they get, especially with the additional damage reduction. If you put them in slot 2 or slot 3, they're good to go. So, yeah, good damage there, good defense, nothing really to complain about. Um, let me see... Okay, yeah, tricky situation. Tricky situation because uh, obviously STR UI is not fully built up. So I think I'm gonna have to actually separate these guys. Uh, let's let's pop some active skills. Let's do the Vegeta one first, and then I'll pop the Goku one, and then uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, unfortunately we can't really dodge anymore because he cancels dodge. Kind of hate that. I wish they, you know, would just not do that. I'm, I'm guessing the Vegeta stage will be the same thing where. You know, the final phase will cancel your dodges. It's just kind of annoying, man. Like, why, why would you take that away from us? But I guess it's not a huge deal. I wish it wasn't a thing, though. Still. Okay. Ah, here we go. Dude, I've seen this animation, like, a hundred times. I still love it, man. It's still so freaking clean. Okay. So, let's give these to Goku. There's a very low chance that last attack will be a super, but it knowing my luck, man, it's probably gonna be a super. That's just that's just my luck. Let's see. I hope it's not. Ideally it wouldn't be. But you never know. That one attack could be a super attack and just kill us. Actually, would it kill us? I mean, we still have like 130 40k defense. I guess we'll find out soon. I guess we'll find out soon. Come on, man. Yo, don't do this, though. 
Don't let me make it this far and then kill me at the last moment. At least let me launch one more attack with uh, 17 and Frieza. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Vegeta doing his thing without a shirt. Nice to see. And... Got a dodge there, no big deal. Yeah, so with all this built-up damage reduction, he's not going to take much damage. This this will be fine. Probably going to be like 50k, I'd say. Maybe less. Definitely no more than 100. 60. There we go. Alright, guys. So I think this will probably be the last turn. Um, I'm going to put them... I'm going to put them in the front. 152,000 defense. And let's get that 24k super. Let's uh, give these guys some orbs too. Actually, I should have saved those for the blue boys. That's my bad. But either way, I think he's, he's, he's still dead either way. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 48. 49. 9. 4.3 mil. Oh. Oh. Back-to-back -back dodge is interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I guess he's not dead. But I'm not worried either way. We should still finish him with the Goku and the Blue Boys. It's unfortunate we weren't able to land the hit with, um, you know, the Frieza and, and 17. But um, I think uh, you guys have seen enough. I think most people have seen enough. I'm sure some people will still say, you know, they're trash. Uh, sometimes you just can't convince people to change their thinking. But uh, I try my best and just... In my view, right? Like, I think they're actually just really solid. Are they going to replace, like, the units that I currently have on my Universe 7 team? Sometimes. Sometimes. I think for these longer events, I will bring them over, um, maybe, maybe, like, a Roshi. Hmm. It's a tough choice, actually. Roshi's really good. Roshi's really, really good. Uh... I gotta think about it. Yeah, the thing is, the U17 is so good, right, that it's hard to make a place for this guy as well as the LR Team Universe 7, or the, you know, 17 slash Reps Universe 7. Um, but either way, like, they're still really good, you know? So if you guys don't have, like, the, the all the units in that category, this is a really good pickup. It's a really good pickup. So don't be sad, yo, if you pull this unit, don't be disappointed, because you picked up a really, really good one. And um, that's it, guys. That is the showcase. We actually got through that pretty quick. Um, I know at the time said 24 minutes, but usually what I, like to, what I like to do before I start a video is jump into the event, and then I'll like do some random stuff, and then, you know, start the video. So our actual runtime was probably something like 17 minutes or so, right? Or maybe even 16 minutes. So pretty quick run. Pretty efficient. These guys definitely made their mark. Definitely helped quite a bit. So, uh, yeah, let me know how you guys feel about them now after watching this video. Did it increase your opinion of them? Did it decrease? Or is it still kind of the same coming in? Let me know, guys. Okay, so that's it. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and uh, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.